Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. But, um, man, GDP, I got you on my camera, bro. Yep, bro. Um, we just did a good podcast. Man, that was good. We was putting it in these papers. We was keeping it real. And we was yeah. giving it some balance and stuff like that from both sides and stuff like that. And, um, yeah. man, I was lit. I, I like it. And, um, shout out to June, OC Chronicles. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Stu. Y'all in New Orleans. Y'all make sure y'all come. Seven days fly. Yeah. You know I'm saying it right. Yeah. But this is the store right here, so y'all can probably check yeah. it out too. We got Katie Wade in the back too. Katie. He ain't oh, saying man. nothing back there. We just, see you. Just soaking up gang, listening to y'all, man. Just yeah. taking, taking notes, really. That's all it is. Yeah, doing his thing. Now, I want to say this is why I got you on my camera. You know, we didn't talk about it, but I'm going to say it because I'm going to post it on my channel too. Oh, huh? Bro, I appreciate what you did with the culture, for the culture, with that very man interview. Right. You probably the only one in the world that could do that. That you, what you did, got him answer questions and I say collectively, how many views you think they did on all the platforms you've seen? Over a million, because I've seen a couple of them with 300,000, so I'm going to say damn, they're probably over a million. Yeah. Plus the other uh, head that they had on the other big blogs, whatever, too. Yeah. So yeah, but I, but I got short chain. They hit me, everybody bullied me out my content. Then they cut my face out, and I remember you was getting on my, man, gee, they took your Man, that is all good though. Then I go and see they took my face out. Some of them cut my audio out. I'm like, God. So yeah, I, I got. I only got twelve thousand on my shit, but the other people, they, they, with the most subscribers, they bullied me out. Uh, if I'd uploaded my channel first, I could have flagged them, but look like I'm having to go another route to do it. But yeah, mm. but I asked the question that the people want to hear, so I'm glad they at least got to hear that. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's a learning lesson, though. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And then yesterday we was at the um, YouTube Avenues event. Shout out to Tokyo. How was that event for you? Yeah, shout out to Tokyo because y'all put me on the call. That's how I knew about it because right. of you guys. Well, how was that event for you? Who did you see? Anybody acknowledge you? I saw Currency. I saw Rob Kaiser. I saw my boy P. Tom Moo, Musa, Fendi P, Sub P. Sean. You was there. Uh, Mario P. I mean, it was a slew of people. I, I saw Coach K, my boy Jarrison was there, and DD, and J, uh, man, it was a lot of people that I'd be naming people all day, but it was a lot of people that I saw that I rock with. OC Chronicles was there. Um, but I was glad to see what Coach K was talking about, about how artists gotta get out there and shake hands and kiss babies. They just can't be on the internet trying to promote their music. They gotta get out there and touch the people, wow. like politicians do. They gotta um, understand that, yeah, you think you could come to Atlanta and get on, but Atlanta, fucking with Atlanta. You gotta get popping where you from because they gonna rock with them, just like we gonna rock with our own. I what he was saying, you gotta get your city behind you or whatever. Just like Easy he told y'all that. When LA got behind him in Compton, mm -hmm. it took the whole world, the most dangerous group ever. Yeah, straight up, straight up. Now, too, I wanna, I gotta address this too while I got you here. But it was, but not this, I didn't wanna say this too. It was good to see everybody networking, taking pictures together in the same room, socializing. So I'm glad that Tokyo bought YouTube and Wallow and them there mm -hmm. to do that because it was a good, it was good energy. Everybody was mingling and taking pictures and having fun and socializing. That's what it was for. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, we recently seen your Big D interview. Mm. Um, and y'all was going back and forth. It was a good interview. Um, and I, I want I want you to clear it up because some people thought that he was picking on you and stuff right. like that. And shout out to Big D, he was a good D guy. Detroit, yeah, me yeah he I'm called me from time to time. Oh yeah, and if you're an artist, if you need life insurance, he can hook you up. That's right. what he say. He might make me get into it. But anyway, right. though, I want you to clear that up too. Like the people was in the interview, oh he being he being this messy, right, oh, he right, did right. this and that third. Well, Big D, Big D, like that's why I was saying we was joking on that. I mean he going to challenge your opinions and he going to try to see if you stand firm on him. And when he was saying, uh, he, he was basically kind of, it seemed like either you with me and Tupac, with black women, with uh, black people with coarse hair, uh, uh, Charleston White with mixing babies and all that with white people because they feel like you're going to have better hair. I stood on my side, he stood on his side. And, and you know, but it was a good conversation. There wasn't no bullying him being an asshole. He, he, some people probably felt like he pushed a little too long, but at the end of the day, I know when I come to these show, that's how he is. It's gonna be a hot seat. He gonna put you to the test. He gonna butter you up and make it all fun at the beginning. And then he gonna come at you and he gonna keep coming to see if you break. Mm. And I didn't fold it up. Now he said he won, but a lot of people say I had one or whatever. But like I said, he would, uh, um, next time he need to get on Dr. Umar on there, cause Dr. Umar would get on his ass about that. Oh yeah. Saying that we, uh, that the only way black, cause like I said, bro, I'm gonna just say this right quick. To end it, when he was saying that black men should have kids for white women, a Mexican woman. First of all, having a baby with a Mexican woman 
and a black man, that could be a double minority. So he was like, oh, it's going to be better off for us two minorities together. So they're already going to still have it hard in a white man's world. And just because you have, and they got a lot of black women that, that look like Vanessa Williams, Alicia Keys, uh, Tatiana Ali. I could go on and on that got the type of hair like uh, Chili might have from, uh, you know, from um, TLC, because he was saying it's all about the hair being coarse. Just because they got, just because they mixed with a mama that's black and white or daddy, that don't mean they're still not going to have problems. Because yes. they can still have psychological problems that their cousins feel like, oh, you ain't white enough. Or you ain't black enough. Mm -hmm. So just because you might feel like you're setting them up for success, that don't mean they're going to still have a good chance. So like Pac said, bro, Pac, Pac was rolling with the black woman on there, but I'm rolling with Pac. Straight up, man, straight up. Man, oh yeah, lastly, I got to ask you about this. Um, from Malik, anything you can tell us about um, Jay Murk? Mm. Anything, I mean, I know some stuff you can't reveal everything, right. but what you can say, what's the updates on Jay Murk? Because everybody waiting on him. All right, now, um, like I said, they got the, the gun charge and all that stuff like that and other things in the case, whatever. So the, so the judge did allow that to come in. Um, and the other things were suppressed, so certain things won't be allowed in. But right now, he did violate himself because he was on parole off the 14 year sentence that he had originally, but he got credit for the 12. And, they gave him two years on papers, whatever. So he been in jail about, about about five or six months now. So he gotta go upstate. So probably this week he gonna be getting shipped um, upstate, probably to like um, hunt, and they gonna process him again, and then ship him somewhere. Hopefully go to Plaquemine, but I don't know. They try to keep people closer to their loved ones so they can go visit them instead of sending them all the way like Cottonport, Winfield, where it's hard for your family members to get up there and come visit you. So right now, just waiting out um, and, and just seeing how everything play out, or whatever. But. He got a lot of good people that's rooting for him, that want to do things with him. A lot of big time people mm -hmm. that's liking what he's doing. And shout out, like I said, Stunner. Shout out uh, OG Booby Black that's been showing him love. And shout out on um, uh, J Electronica, who Rock Nation just came under my comment when he saw his freestyle and said, um, I want in. Now, what do you mean by that? If you want in on the verse, if you want in on business, I don't know, but he even said something. So all those people keep him in good spirit. But, yeah, he gonna be all right though. He's playing for the best. Man. The spokesman, man. Like, you, oh yeah, and I, I keep on coming up with questions, but have you embraced it yet? Have you just took that deep breath and realized, all right, I am GDP now? Like, <laughs> have you did that yet? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I guess I have, whatever. Cause I mean, I, I, I see all the people that really love what I do, or whatever. So yeah, I guess I guess I kind of am. Just embracing that the people look for me, uh, they send me stuff like, see, you gotta speak on this, or we need you to talk about this. So now I kind of be like, damn, you know, when I, when I think I could put the cape up, I gotta go back in there and grab it and go on a phone booth and, and come out like Superman or something sometimes that I gotta, I gotta try to save the day some kind of way with them. But yeah. one thing for sure, two things for certain, I'm always staying on that business. Straight up.